Today we seem to have lost our belief in the still pervasive reality that God's essence is life and love. However, disregarding his actions in nature leads to our peril. In the modern age, science and technology have become cornerstones of human progress, leading to remarkable advancements that shape our daily lives, our entire outlook on reality. However, these achievements are often viewed through a materialistic lens, attributing success solely to human ingenuity. This perspective overlooks the profound truth that science itself is the evidence of the divine wisdom that God has carefully and deliberately spoken and breathed into the beauty and love within his creation. Our entire civilization's ordering principle was founded on our shared ability to acknowledge God's agency behind scientific advancements. It is because we know that our achievements as part of God's intentional provision, we can always align our technological progress with his deepest moral intentions God revealed to us through Jesus Christ, preparing his kingdom for the day of Jesus' return. The wonders of nature provide a vast and transcendent flow of meaning and intentions that reflects God's genius. Each scientific discovery reveals more about the complexity and order inherent in creation. This vast descriptive novelty points to so much more than a utilitarian but deliberate design. It reveals the entire richness of the ever-sounding, ever more beautiful symphony of God's creation, God's song of life and love. Consider the field of biomimicry, where scientists study nature's models and mimic them to solve human problems. Today, it is almost impossible to find a truly novel idea implemented by humans. All technologies seem to be reverse engineered from some aspect God already implemented somewhere in his creation. The structure of a bird's wing, the photosynthetic process in plants, and the way spiders spin their webs have inspired advancements in aerodynamics, solar energy, and material science, respectively. Birds have long fascinated scientists and engineers with their ability to fly with remarkable efficiency. By studying the anatomy and flight mechanics of birds, researchers have developed advanced aerodynamic designs for aircraft. The principles of lift, drag and thrust observed in birds are directly applied in aviation technology showcasing how God's creation serves as a foundational guide for human innovation. Living systems and creatures also embody God's knowledge embedded within creation. The human body, with its intricate systems and unparalleled capacity for healing and adaptation, serves as a testament to God's masterful engineering Medical science continuously draws upon this divine blueprint to enhance human health and well-being. The human immune system is a marvel of complexity and efficiency capable of defending against a multitude of pathogens. Researchers have developed vaccines, antibiotics and immunotherapies by understanding and replicating the mechanisms employed by the immune system. This knowledge, rooted in God's design, has led to life-saving medical treatments and the prevention of diseases. By recognizing that all scientific knowledge is a revelation of God's wisdom, we can see technological advancements as gifts meant to fulfill his purposes. This perspective transforms our approach to science and technology aligning it with a higher calling. It seems to be the only way to humble ourselves and find truly sanctifying ethical objectives for everything we do. The pursuit of clean and sustainable energy sources
such as nuclear power, the energy system God selected to energize the sun and all the stars in the night sky, this wonder of gaining new isolated energy by converting mass into energy reflects a deep understanding of the sustainable systems God has established. Harnessing the sun's mass to energy mechanisms allows humans to create their own isolated energy for all our uniquely human industrial purposes. This new energy approach can allow us to distinguish nature's energy processes from our industrial energy needs. It will enable us to allow the intricate flux of sunlight to nurture all life forms, including our own. This not only demonstrates the application of God's intentions and demonstrated knowledge, but also aligns with the biblical mandate to steward the earth responsibly. To fully harness the potential of scientific advancements as part of God's miraculous provision, we must align our technological progress with his will. This involves acknowledging that our abilities and discoveries are not ends in themselves, but means to fulfill God's greater plan. By attributing scientific discoveries to God's agency, we foster a sense of humility and gratitude. This mindset encourages ethical considerations and a commitment to using technology for the greater good, rather than for selfish or destructive purposes. Technological progress, when aligned with God's will, can play a crucial role in preparing his kingdom for Jesus' return. Innovations in communication, transportation, and healthcare can enhance the quality of life, promote justice, and spread the gospel more effectively. As stewards of God's creation, we are called to use our knowledge and skills to build a world that reflects his love, justice, and mercy. But now, we have to face the demons of our age. We must acknowledge the reality of what has become of our once Christian, once godly, or rather, God-seeking civilization, not least because we should by now be empowered to face reality within the perils of materialistic human centeredness. The advancements in science and technology have undeniably transformed our world, offering solutions to complex problems and improving the quality of life. However, when these advancements are driven by a materialistic, human-centered perspective, devoid of sanctified ethical considerations, they can lead to disastrous consequences. We are forced to acknowledge how much we need sanctification from a Nietzschean outlook and Machiavellian power politics, coupled with a godless mechanistic approach to science. Yes, we have to face the demons of our depravity and acknowledge that it has resulted in significant mistakes and catastrophes. God help us and will lovingly guide us through this painful introspection. By exploring the same examples cited previously, aviation, medical science, and nuclear energy, we will highlight the dangers of not acknowledging God's agency behind scientific advancements. In our earlier discussion, we highlighted how the study of bird flight has led to advancements in aerodynamics, enabling human flight, and it caused a revolution in transportation and commerce. However, the same principles of aerodynamics have been used for humanistic purposes. The development of fighter jets and bombers has had more than the sanctified and protective benefits it could have had. We were not just protecting life with the new weaponry. We aim to be the kind of humanistic gods from our pagan past. The materialistic and power-driven use of this technology, often inspired by Nietzschean and Machiavellian philosophies, emphasizes domination and control rather than divine stewardship. Not for a lack of our illegitimate humanistic 
efforts to co-opt God for our evil intentions. During World War II, indiscriminate bombing campaigns, such as the firebombing of Dresden and Tokyo, caused immense devastation and loss of civilian life. These campaigns used aviation technology to deliver widespread destruction without regard for the sanctity of human life. The culmination of this age of indiscriminate devastation was the dropping of atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, which demonstrated the ultimate destructive potential of nuclear and aviation technologies when guided by a godless, mechanistic approach. Medical science has made tremendous strides in understanding and replicating the mechanisms of the human immune system. It has become the foundation of most of our ideas about caring and well-being. Vaccines and immunotherapies have saved countless lives and eradicated diseases, almost just as much as it can be traced as the cause of ill-conceived mechanistic disasters flowing from bad assumptions about the efficacy and consequences of these therapies. Today, in a post-COVID world, it is more evident than ever that materialistic and hedonistic motivations have led to unethical medical practices and experiments. The pursuit of power and knowledge devoid of a moral compass has resulted in significant harm and suffering. One glaring example is the misuse of antibiotics. While antibiotics have been a groundbreaking discovery in fighting bacterial infections, their overuse and misuse in both medical and agricultural settings have led to the emergence of antibiotic-resistant bacteria, or superbugs. This issue stems from a short-sighted focus on immediate benefits without considering long-term consequences. When we consider the godly potential of clean and safe nuclear power, it is undoubtedly clear that it can turn into a nightmare of evils, the least of which is the rejection of clean, abundant energy for human industrial consumption. The same technology that promises boundless energy and environmental stewardship can be weaponized to cause mass destruction and suffering. The development of nuclear weapons capable of annihilating entire cities epitomizes the perils of a materialistic power-driven mindset. Furthermore, the mishandling of nuclear technology as seen in catastrophic accidents like Chernobyl and Fukushima reveals the grave dangers of neglecting ethical and divine guidance in scientific pursuits. Such events highlight the critical importance of aligning technological advancements with God's wisdom and moral framework to ensure that the blessings of nuclear energy serve humanity's good rather than its destruction. We have to also consider the glaring realities behind most of our current attempts to implement other renewable energy sources, such as solar and wind power it becomes ever clearer that the concept of renewable energy is also causing an energy-deficient future and not the promised carbon-free future. While we burn ever more fossil fuels because of intermittent and low energy outputs from wind and solar, by now it should be clear that this does not align with proper stewardship of Earth. Closer inspection forces us to reflect if this truly aligns with the wisdom inherent in God's creation. However, the exploitation of natural resources for renewable energy, when driven by profit and power without ethical oversight, can lead to environmental degradation and social injustice. The demand for lithium, a key component in batteries for renewable energy technologies has led to environmentally destructive mining practices. In regions like the Lithium Triangle in South America, mining operations have caused water shortages, environmental pollution, and displacement of local communities, let alone the future challenges of 
safely managing all the externalities caused by lithium, which is an extremely dangerous neurotoxin. These issues arise when the pursuit of technological advancement is not balanced with ethical stewardship and respect for God's creation. Friedrich Nietzsche's philosophy, emphasizing the will to power and the rejection of traditional moral values, has profoundly influenced modern power politics. This outlook encourages the pursuit of dominance and control, always at the expense of God's ethical expectations and spiritual humility. Niccolò Machiavelli's teachings on power and statecraft, which advocate for pragmatic and often ruthless tactics, further exacerbate the ethical void in political and scientific endeavors. When leaders and scientists adopt these philosophies without a belief in God or moral accountability, the potential for abuse and disaster increases. The Industrial Revolution, driven by mechanistic science and a focus on human progress, has led to severe environmental damage. Dehumanizing work and fragmented community practices, large-scale untreated pollution, and both human and animal habitat destruction are direct results of a materialistic approach that neglects the divine mandate to care for creation. The pursuit of scientific knowledge with ethical boundaries, which turns out to be superficial when compared to the actual underlying Machiavellian tactics, has led to numerous instances of harm, such as the unethical treatment of human subjects in medical research and the creation of harmful technologies. These actions reflect a disregard for the sanctity of life and the moral principles that should guide scientific inquiry. To avoid these pitfalls and realize the full potential of scientific advancements, we must acknowledge God's agency behind all our scientific discoveries. We must boldly start to do the true science of agency by aligning our technological progress with God's will and his revealed agency in nature, we can ensure that our pursuits are guided by ethical principles and a commitment to the greater good. This alignment not only prepares us for the return of Jesus, but also fosters a world that reflects God's love, justice, and mercy. In doing so, we fulfill our role as stewards of creation, harnessing the wonders of science and technology to build a future that honors God and promotes human flourishing. It might even save us from our own destructive evils. God has saved humankind more than once in the past. Our age will be no different. To conclude this journey, we can now acknowledge that we always have the choice between life and death, just as God has always proclaimed it. We read in the Old Testament already, in Deuteronomy 30 verses 19 and 20, NIV translation. This day I call the heavens and the earth as witnesses against you that I have set before you life and death, blessings and curses. Now choose life so that you and your children may live and that you may love the Lord your God, listen to his voice and hold fast to him. For the Lord is your life and he will give you many years in the land he swore to give to your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. God's agency in nature will always present to us life and death. In Jesus Christ, we will always have the choice and the overwhelming grace to choose life, no matter how many mistakes we make. In Jesus Christ, our rebellion against God will always subside within the only saving grace available to humanity. The essence of God is life and love. And disregarding God's agency in nature leads to our own peril. Therefore, choose life.